Thank you very much, Cheryl. Good evening, everyone. And thank you, Cheryl, for that introduction. And thank you. Thank you all for joining us this evening and for, for giving us this, this recognition. I am so humbled to be here with the other recipients, with someone I like to consider to be a, a good and longtime friend, Andrew, and my new friends, Sue and Murad. Sue, there was one person who was more surprised when she got the call <laughs> for a public policy award. I want to start off, of course, by acknowledging that we are on the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Tsleil-Waututh, and Squamish peoples of the great Coast Salish nation. And I bring you greetings from Ktenecha, Wisukilkokne, now San Mietke. I was never really thought of myself as being someone involved in, in public policy. As I was growing up and as I was getting into my career, working for my nation, working for my community, it was just a matter of, of getting up each day and just getting the job done, never really noticing just what it was and how much of an impact it had on others, on other Canadians. So when it was described to me that good public policy means a better Canada, then I could, I could see that, yes, and I could understand that. Because what is a better Canada? A better Canada is a good and safe place for, for our families. And with mention of family, I just want to introduce you all to my daughter Cindy is here tonight and um, I'm so very pleased that, that you're here with me Cindy because <laughs> that's really what it's all about is that each of us being strong individuals coming from and having the support of strong families creating strong communities creating a strong province creating a strong country and all of that with a foundation of good public policy. I mention Cindy because I also want to mention that, and I want to acknowledge the comments of the Premier earlier when he was talking about how one of the, the um, important measures that the, the province is very much supporting is in public education, is in further education in higher education, and I was so pleased to hear about the 2,900 new positions that have been created in this province, because I'm so proud today, as I stand before you, that my grandson Jeffrey is taking one of those positions. He has been accepted into Sauter. He is the first Tunacha that has ever attended Sauter. Sorry, Andrew, but Sauter. <laughs> <laughs> so, when we have that kind of public policy, where we create more and more opportunities for all of our citizens, then we know that we are leading towards a better Canada. And a better Canada, better Canada is one that is inclusive, that is making sure that there are places and that people feel that they are part of everything that goes on in this country. Now the public policy in Canada has never been was never, did not start as one that was inclusive of all Canadians. And we know that. We know that that is our history. We know that that is part of who we are as Canadians. That 150 years ago, public policy created systems like the residential school, created systems like the Indian res reservations that we still have today. However, we have grown from that, and we have learned from that, and we have come to a place today where we have a premier that is standing up here and talking to us about all the, the plans and, and all the, the, the um, growth 
that we are going to see in this province. And I know that in every single one of those areas that he talked about in terms of growth of this province, I know that with this government and with the province of British Columbia, that there is always a place for Indigenous Canada, Indigenous peoples. I know that there is a place for Ktenecha, and I'm very, very happy, and I'm very, very touched about that. And so I very proudly say that, yes, I am part of public policy in this province, even though I didn't really know that I was. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about, or we've, we've heard the discussion around the inclusion and the treaty process that we've had here in Canada, in particular in British Columbia. And I see that as simply being the most complete form of reconciliation that we can talk about in this country. And we are, that's the, the process that we have established here in British Columbia and that we've been involved in and that we will continue to be involved in. We're also looking at the way that we have partnerships in economic development. And I know that that is the type of real growth, that is the type of real inclusion that will support the growth that we all want for our families and for our future as British Columbians. So the best public policy for our country as we go forward is one that is inclusive, is one that reflects the collective will of where we want to go, all of us as Canadians, all of us as British Columbians, and that includes all of us within the Tunaka Nation. And so I'm very, very grateful that to receive this recognition this evening and to be with, here with you this evening. Thank you very much.